everybody, this is Praxis and we were able to get the chimney up through the roof yesterday and flashed and all completed. That was a nice feeling to have that done up there. Uh, it took a little extra time. We had to stay a little bit late to do it, but it's done and now it's raining today. So I'm really glad that we were able to accomplish that. Uh, the rain today is only supposed to be for the morning, so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get back outside and finish up a couple more roof things later on. My dad's coming again today. He's been really helpful because, you know, he appreciates that winter's coming and he wants to help us get in also. Uh, but for the morning, I'm doing other things that we need to do before we can move in, and one of those is electrical. Uh, the other day, I went and I was going to strip all the wires, uh, uh, taking off maybe a, you know, five-eighths of an inch uh, off the end of all the wires so they're ready to put in receptacles. And I just went ahead and I did a bunch of receptacles, and they went really fast. Uh, I've, I have exactly 50 uh, power receptacles in the entire house. Uh, I know that because I bought, well, I counted them, uh, and then I had to buy uh, five, ten packs of receptacles. Uh, and so I was thinking, man, that's going to be so many to, to wire up. But I did half of them the other day in just a couple of hours, so it's going pretty quickly. The process for it is, uh, first off, make sure you know none of this is plugged in. <laughs> we don't even have the wires into the breaker box at this point, so it's not like I even have to go and, and kill a breaker. But you know, if you ever do it yourself, make absolutely sure that circuit is dead. Um, uh, I've got these little uh, wire clippers here, and they've got different gauges for uh, different size wires. These are 12-gauge wires, so I use the 12-gauge... A uh, little socket here, and I clip around it. Uh, again, like I said, about five eighths of an inch. And all the other ones went a lot easier than this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's some weirdo about that wire. I'm going to do the white wire here, just to give you a sense of how quickly this can go, because it, it is, it is, uh, it is pretty uh, effective. Wow. I ain't going to do no 25 of them in a couple hours if they go like this. What's wrong with that? Let me try it again. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. I was using the wrong size hole, apparently. Uh, one thing with the wires that we, uh, got, we're using in this place is that uh, some of them are new, some of them are old, and uh, apparently 12 gauge doesn't always mean the same thing, and 14 gauge doesn't always mean the same thing. It's kind of like women's clothing. You know, you could be a size 6 or a size 8, depending on the brand. And uh, I've noticed that with the wires. Uh, so actually, these, uh, these must be a little bit uh, different uh, size than some of the other 12-gauge wire that we've been dealing with. So you can see, once I use the right hole, they come off pretty quickly. Uh, I'm putting these uh, uh, little receptacles in. You can put them in this way, which is the way you usually see with the two eyes and the mouth. You know, uh, There's a word for that. I always forget what it is, like polyphagia or something like that, where you see human faces all over the place. Um, or you can put them upside down. I usually put them upside down because uh, if you ever have something plugged in and it works its way out, if something, well, I'll illustrate this way, if something were to have kind of fall down and slide between the plug and your, your outlet, you know, you could shore it out. But if you put them in upside down, what it's going to hit, if something ever fell down in there, is the grounding pin. So it's, I feel it gives you a degree of safety, and also it's like, it's weird. You know, it's, it, it's a conversation starter. You know, people see them upside down, so you can talk about that. Uh, so I always like to put them in that way. So that's the way that I'm going to be doing them. Uh, as far as uh, what I do with the wires is the whites go to the silver posts, the blacks go to the brass posts, and the grounding uh, wire goes on to the, uh, uh, the green grounding uh, screw. They may not always be silver and black and everything, but they're usually labeled. And uh, I'm just using these little uh, pliers to put a little bend into the, uh, into the wire, and it hooks right around, and I use the drill to secure it. So I'm going to uh, curl up all the rest of them before I do uh, that one. But that's what I'm going to be doing this morning, getting as many of those done as I can. And uh, Amber's going to be here later today. I think she's going to be maybe doing some sanding on the floor since we can't do ceiling or boards outside. But, uh, you know, we're getting down to the last few things. You know, the roof is within a day of being done. There's not that many wall boards left to do on the outside. The electrical work is all proceeding. And if I can stop knocking things down, we're going to look in good shape. That's it. Thanks for watching.